somebody <clears throat> with a PR crisis team is out here just dragging Christine Brown's name through the mud, through these headlines. Mm -mm. What a sad, sad situation. Good people get labeled with the most ridiculous stuff. Folks is mad. Folks is now mad over Christine's latest post. This is ridiculous. I can't even believe we're here talking about this. But look, I want to make myself clear. Do not be like these weirdos <laughs> that pick people apart. Like, Jesus Christ, if you can't find nothing else to expose people over, go on with your life. Go do something else. If you over here talking about a sweatshirt, can you go and touch some grass? Can you go smell a flower? Can you go, I don't know, watch TV? I have no idea. <laughs> it's too much. People are bored. Some people are real bored. Real bored. But then, see, part of me thinks, well, are they really bored? Or are these people paid to make up this hateful stuff and post this hateful stuff? Huh. I mean, look, it ain't that far-fetched, okay? It ain't that far-fetched. Christine Brown angers some Sister Wives fans with shocking stance. She don't anger them all because I am not angry <laughs> at all. And I'm a huge Sister Wives fan. I just want to point that out. Christine Brown shared a surprising stance. She managed to anger some Sister Wives fans with her sweatshirt choice. Christine exercised her right to free speech. Meanwhile, some fans were mistaken about her religious and political beliefs. Sister Wives star Christine was the first to leave the polygamous marriage. She's known as the wife who was quiet and devoted to her family. Christine was also dedicated to her faith. Over the years, she grew tired of Cody being close to his fourth wife, Robin. She realized that she was no longer a priority in his life. Christine became more outspoken when she separated from Cody. I, should I save my thoughts and opinions for after this article? Or let me go ahead and give them now in case I forget to say this. Christine was dedicated to her faith and her kids, and she made that crystal clear. She said that herself many times. The reason why she left is because Cody couldn't find time for his kids. So the wording of this article to me is very interesting, and it seems like Christine is the target. Because it seems like they're trying to make it out to be like, oh, Christine was just jealous of Cody growing close to his fourth wife, Robin. When you know Christine said and made it clear, and we all seen him not go to Isabel's surgery, and then she left immediately after. The TLC star's personality changed once she removed herself from the family. Christine is now happier since she met David. Some fans believe she picked up some of his beliefs. Christine has been vocal about her stance on polygamy. Some fans even see her as a role model for female empowerment. Her face has been splashed all over the media. The reality star exercised her right to free speech. Christine spent time with her son, Peyton. She shared a sweet photo of the two on Instagram. We will dissect and get into it in just a minute. Sister Wise fans were upset over the sweatshirt she wore during the occasion. They never expected Christine to make such a bold political statement. Because God forbid anybody have an uh, opinion or view that difference, you know, differences, whatever, from theirs. There's a lot of people like that. That are like, oh, yes, it's okay. We don't always have to agree to get along. But then once you don't agree with them, you don't get along, according to them. So, yeah. The photo of Christine and Peyton popped up on Reddit. Toxic place. Fans feel place... Fans feel safe to criticize the cast members there. Look at this. The photo of Christine and Peyton popped up on Reddit. Where fans feel safe to criticize the cast members there. 
But notice I can't post any of my videos, probably because I don't criticize the entire cast. Instead, I talk good about them and the good and, you know, what they're doing, except for Cody and Robin, because they ain't got nothing good going on, in my opinion. Maybe that's why I'm blocked and banned. Interesting. And if you don't know, because a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about, and to those of you who tell me to shut up and quit talking about it, you can just pop off this page, because <laughs> you don't have to be here. Because this is my life, and this is what I do for a living. Okay, I give my commentary on these people, just like millions of other creators do. You know, there's millions of creators, not just on YouTube, but on TikTok that give their commentary on reality shows. That is, I'm just one of millions, okay? Well, it, as a result of that, let me tell you what you get to go through. A lot of trolling, number one. Number two, you get a lot of online bullying. This took me a while to deal with it, but I've learned to manage. Number three, you get targeted. If your view or opinion don't go with everybody else's, then you get targeted. Reddit is a place that I noticed a couple of years ago when I would share my videos. They would immediately get removed from the Sister Wives community. Immediately get removed. Well, then when my subscribers started sharing it, they would get removed. Then I got blocked and banned from even posting on the Sister Wives community on Reddit that all of these outlets credit. Okay. I never got a reason why I got blocked and banned. Then they decided after I was blocked and banned and my content was blocked and banned. So nobody on, you know, the Sister Wives community Reddit group that has like, about 200,000 members or Sister Wise fans. You know, that's 200,000 people. I have 58,000, just to give you an example. 58,000 subscribers over here. So there's a lot more that don't even know I exist. Well, when I went to share my content, share some insight, share some thoughts and opinions, I can't, which restricts me from growing like other people do. Without a crystal ball, doesn't have that problem because she gets promoted. Don't know why. Don't know why her videos are allowed to be shared, just like everybody else's are allowed to be shared. Reality Squad, Reality Charm. There's a lot of um, YouTube channels and creators that do the same thing I do. Their videos are allowed to be posted, which makes their following grow. If that's the only content you see, then come on now. What else you going to click on? So with me talking about it and, you know, telling everybody the truth behind it all, I get told, oh, you need to be quiet. I unsubscribe to you because that's all you talk about. I'm like, well, uh, this is my job. And I'm very passionate about the content I put out. And I'm very proud of the content I put out. I've never been sued, never been threatened to be sued in my five years. Of putting out content. Never been involved in any sort of court case with anybody I've ever spoke about. Let that speak volumes. Because it should. <sighs> Back to this. She wore a black hooded sweatshirt that featured a vertical American flag that was worn out and featured red and blue stripes. She argued that they were green stripes. Other fans took it as a sign she supports the police. Christine, grinning in a Blue Lives Matter shirt with Peyton, figured I'd share this since many were shocked about David's political beliefs. Christine took a strong stance against polygamy. She fought for her freedom after leaving Cody. Some fans wondered whether she picked up David's political belief. LOL, they came from such a conservative religion. I'm more shocked that anyone else was shocked. I think she appears supportive of that lifestyle because one of her children is LGBTQ+. I think many people are sympathetic who otherwise wouldn't be when someone they loved is involved. I figured most of the Brown family and David were fundamentals. It was the way Christine was raised. She may have given up on polygamy, but not her political beliefs. Others noted that Christine's political beliefs didn't change after leaving Cody. What are your thoughts on her sweatshirt? <laughs> 
Well, I think it's stupid and immature that that's the content that gets clicks and views. Is people dragging somebody over a sweatshirt, over a Blue Lives Matter? Meanwhile, I'm over here telling y'all McKelty's pregnant with baby number four, and hell, that's only got a few hundred views. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? But hey, I got to laugh about it. I'm supposed to laugh about it because it ain't going to bother me. It is what it is. It's been happening for years. What you can do to help me, though, counter all that BS that I'm having to go through for no good reason, is you can help me by sharing my videos a lot. A lot. If you support me, please share my videos. Because let me tell you something. If you was sitting there being done dirty, I'd share your stuff. Sure would. That's just the type of woman I am. If I say I support you and if I say I'm going to be here for you, by damn, I'm going to be here for you. And I'm going to show you through my actions. I ain't just going to talk about it in the comment section. I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to share it. I notice not a lot of people do that. Maybe that'll change. I want to tell you how that is the biggest way you can support people. Okay, if you don't share my videos, go share somebody else's you support. It is a huge help. Because right now, ain't many people sharing my videos. Right now, I'm blocked and banned from growing my channel through sharing it, you know, through communities like Reddit. That has uh, most of the Sister Wives fans. That's where most of the fans, the following, that's where it is. With me not allowed to post there, that's a problem. I can't even grow my channel. Probably also illegal, huh? Sounds illegal, don't it? If you ain't got no reason or, you know, no valid reason, no reason at all to block and ban somebody's content, then, you know, uh-uh, y'all, mm-mm, that's all right. What's done in the dark will always come to light. Don't you ever forget that. That's why I'm not worried. I'm just going to continue to work, 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 work. Okay, I ain't giving up. I don't quit. Hey, subscribe. Let me be an inspiration to you. Watch me get screwed over day after day after day and watch me still be here working. Watch me still be here, not stooping to that level. I recently shared this on our Facebook page, and if you're not following us on Facebook, it is linked in the description of every video. I hope you come follow us over there. Our Instagram, our second channel, all of that is linked in the description below this video. Hilarious, okay? To everyone who watches my life and gossips about it, don't give up. Season 2 is about to come out. So be sure you are subscribed. Hit that notification bell located beside subscribe. Make sure it's highlighted to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. I love you for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned because there is so much more on the way.